this is Suju Vlog episode number 5. Um, yeah, there are really a few things to talk about. I think you already knew about them, but yeah, let's talk. Uh, well, actually, this news, it's not really a news since I wanted to mention it in the past two vlogs and I forgot. And it's Etix musical The Promise, which they are playing and people are watching it and I think um, Kyuhyun's Inyak's Yes songs um, I think song means mom went to or it was e I'm not sure uh, uh, went to watch the musical together together, all together um, yeah, uh, again, news Kangin lost weight and he's been posting about his successful diet and I'm pretty sad about it because I love Chubby Kangin. I love how he looked in Sorry Sorry era and um, I just hope he will gain back some of the weight. Not that much but yeah his face looks weird and the ears are bigger. I don't know it feels weird like it's not even him. It's hard to know that it's him actually. But it's still his face and we are at Kangin. Happy birthday Kangin! Kim young -un. I'm so happy for you, you are already 28! Oh my god, 28! Ooh. Almost 10 years older than me! Ooh. And yeah, in Korean age it's 29. And if he wouldn't be in the army, his year would be this or next year since he born in the beginning of the year, so he counts uh, the same age as Ye Song uh, and Shin Dong counts same age as Song Min. So yeah, but um, he already finished the army. <clears throat> so yeah, we don't have to worry about that. So happy, happy birthday, Senin Jukaeyo. Um, and then news. Um, yeah, let's talk about that. GDA got a disc awards. Um, besides that, I, in my opinion, Super Junior had the worst red carpet fashion this year. There are some ties and shirts and pants and shoes were horrible but they have won three awards and that's what's most more important and they also performed Opa Opa and Q was really into it. It's weird since he told he doesn't like the song. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and yeah, there was a Goye song, Goye song part, and Goryeobok, Goryeobok. And so the awards, what well, they've won, first it was MSN East Asia Award, which is kind of like popularity. It proves they are the most popular. Then, I, uh, it's not that hard, so Suju have been winning this award, the Bonsang Award, which is like all the second places, <laughs> kind of, and it can be win with a mini or full album. And they have won this song, this song award, which is the big, big award, which is like goes for the best full album. I've never seen any mini albums win it, so sorry, VIPs. Besides that, in every sales, Suju got higher album sales, in every voting, they had higher votes. I don't know why anybody was complaining, it was totally, it should be theirs. And there are news about like in the 27 years uh, they've been the first artist to win three awards. That's actually not true, but they are the first idol group to win three this songs. And they win the last years and this years. Um, they won't win anything, I think, in 2013 because I think they won't release an album. Uh, they will have a lot of uh, subunit activities though, I just know that. <laughs> I don't think they will release a full album, plus SM really made I Got A Boy, like it's gonna win an award, so I already know that. It's released in January, mm, it's member covers everything, so we won't win the next, but because we won't really have an album, that's my guessing. So, but still they are the first idol group to win it with three awards. In our hearts we know that it's the fourth. Now someone just tried to kill me, but yeah. <laughs> um, 
so we can be really really proud and we did a great job and as I saw the countings the A versions and the repackaged versions were counted and in both Gaon and Hantio Suju did it so yeah with only one and one version okay it had photo cards but it didn't have six versions plus five so yeah and then after uh, they had an interview which again it was Yesang I'm not really sure about that but yeah he told about how they are preparing to make an even better show for their Super Show which we can know that it's Super Show 5 finally they are having something about it so um, as for me I'm really really happy about that and then a few of the, mem few of the members fly back to China and then they got lost in the airport and um, normal things like that <laughs> Maybe who is that five year old little child getting lost? Yeah. Um and in the speech for the De Sang Award, um it was mentioned that Kangin got the award first when like they could be here, which is like a really really good feeling since he was in Sorry Sorry but he wasn't at the award when they got it. So yeah. And then again Related to fly back to China, Qihan's passport is related. I don't know who was that, but if you ever see that picture, stop spreading it. I'm not even gonna put a link to it in the description because it's like unacceptable to take a picture of his passport and post it on the internet and it goes around and it's like not okay, there are not new things like what's his name and when is his birthday that's nothing new but there are like personal numbers and some some other stuff you shouldn't really like I'm not sure how he takes care of his personal stuff since he a few days ago he told about that someone made a way video I can pronounce the Chinese website like Twitter I guess um, account with his email and gave it back to him. I, I like what? What? You didn't make a new email when you discover that your email is already used. Q, please take care more of your personal stuff. And I um, think it was a season fun, or I don't know. Like, it just how could that happen? And why is these things happening to Q? Then other weird things on Twitter, which is Dage, who have been posting pictures from Tumblr, edited pictures without credits, Dange. so he's been posting like good night and a picture from Tumblr, like it's edited, he's in the middle and other stuff from his new shop, and then again like a super junior all edited and after the awards, and these are really from Tumblr, and these pictures are not like you type in Google Dongye and you get them out. You have to be on Tumblr and to follow the tags or like go on the tags to know that these pictures exist. He's one of us. <laughs> it was seriously scary. Like, we are busted. But yeah, <laughs> he might have read something about. Oh, okay, I'm. Um, yeah, and then again, Super Junior M. Breakdown album something news. A Taiwan version is gonna be released in February. Uh, I'm not sure about that. But it, yes, Asia says that, but it's a Taiwan pre-order version, and nothing is really sure. Or I just tell you to don't rush and pre-order it, because I think they are waiting for the music video, the Korean one or song at least, to make a Korean version and I think they will have a Korean version and I have to pre-order that because in quality and everything the Korean versions are always best and they count more in sales and yeah, in Chinese also but Taiwanese are the ones that not really count so yeah Native Musical, Kangin Losing Weight and birthday, happy birthday is the 17th of January oh. and GDA 3 awards SS5 mm, Qhyun's Passport Dongye on Tumblr and Breakdown Taiwanese release. So yeah, these are the news I wanted to say and I hope this is not too long. And yeah, thank you for watching. Bye!